Mentally digitizing a photo is a tedious task indeed. Hatch can auto-digitize your photo in a flash. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll see how to use Color Photo Stitch and Photo Flash to create embroidery designs from photographs. This is a picture of my cat, Lucky. I've done a very quick cleanup of the background in Photoshop. Like all auto-digitizing, the quality of your image will have a huge impact on your end result. Select the image, and from the auto-digitize toolbox, click on Color Photo Stitch. Hatch analyzes the design and simplifies it. Let's see what Adjust does. Here I can adjust the lightness and contrast. I can change the effect to, say, sepia or gray. Sepia would look cool on some old family photos, but I'm going to leave it at original. And I'm going to choose Auto Adjust. And that kind of brightens it up a bit. I'll click OK. And on the next screen, we can choose the resolution from medium to high to low. The default is medium. If you choose higher, it's going to increase the resolution, but it's also going to increase the stitch count. Lowering it will lower the stitch count and lower the resolution. Next we have colors. Hatch has analyzed this as RGB colors, which we can see by the thread information. Now, my thread isn't in RGB values. I have a thread brand. So I might want to choose color matching. Right now it's set to add bitmap colors to the palette, but I want to change it to a thread chart. So let's see what thread chart we have. I'm going to remove isochord, just double click on it. I'm going to press M, get down to the M's, and I'm going to choose Madeira Classic. And I'll click OK. What's happened here is that the colors have been done a closest matched here. And they actually look pretty good. The colors that you get are going to depend on your thread brand. If you have a narrow range of colors, if you don't have a good match, it's not going to look all that great when you're done. We can also change the number of colors. So if I change this to, let's say 10, how about I do 12 since I have a 12 needle machine. And if we look at some of these colors, we can see that there are some color repeats in here. So it's add, added more colors, but they're not necessarily different colors. So let's that, take that back to 7. And I'll click OK. Let's hide our image. Press D on the keyboard. And there's my kitty. Photo Stitch creates a unique effect, and I rather think of it as an artistic style, rather like pointillism. It's kind of one of those stitch effects that looks better from a distance than close up. So if we do a quick player on it, and I'm going to stitch this up really fast, you can see that the stitches somewhat resemble stippling. And it does some layering and backtracking and to build the design. And I think you get the idea. Now let's try Photo Flash. I'm going to unhide my picture, D. I'm going to copy it, create a new document, and paste. There's my lucky kitty again. This time I'm going to do photo flash. This method uses one color and for the most part, choosing a high contrast thread to the fabric works best. For example, black on white is especially striking. So once again, I'll hide my image and there's my design. Notice that we didn't have any dialog boxes here. But if I double click on the object, I can see the stitch type and see the stitch properties. And we can do some adjustments here. Once again, we have some resolution settings. I want you to look at the stitch count. We're at 53,000, just a little over 53,000 stitches. If I bump that up to high, we've jumped that 15,000 stitches. Now, does it look that much better? I don't know. Is it worth 15,000 stitches? I think I'll go with medium. 
Now another thing we can change is the angle and that will also affect our stitch count. I'm going to press B on the keyboard and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see how these stitches look. See how they go from fat to skinny to medium to define the design? Kind of reminds me of that old dot matrix printer artwork we had back in the 80s. The angle is the angle of the stitches. So if I change that to say 80, let's see what happens to our stitch count. So right now it's at a little over 53,000. I'll type in 80 and it's dropped down to 37,450. So that's another way you can control your stitches. I'll zoom back out, press zero on the keyboard. Photo flash and color photo stitch can create interesting novelty effects practically instantly although they may not be instant to sew.